Hey guys, quick little video today. I've uh, I've had this uh, monitor here for a while, but recently during a LAN party it developed an issue. And the issue is, well, if I touch the little power cable over here, which is plugged into the back, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You can see it flickering. Yeah, something in the power plug, so like the socket inside of the monitor, is broken. I've already tested a different adapter and the cables and stuff like that. But the only thing that seems to help is holding the plug in the socket in an angle and sometimes it works that way as you just saw. So let's take a look inside and see if I can maybe fix that. Now I've never worked on this monitor before, but I'm hoping by removing all the screws that goes around it and the ones that are located over here that I can just pull the back panel off. And what I'm hoping or suspecting is that this little socket as I mentioned, that there's just uh, some loose or cracked solder joint which I should be able to reflow, problem fixed. Well, let's hope it's that simple. Okay, that was uh, pretty easy to disassemble so far. I've only uh, broken, uh, well this one's still in one piece. Let me see if it, I can get it focused. Yeah, there we go. But uh, this one, uh, yeah, I broke off the, the right side clip. But it shouldn't be too big of a problem yet. I'm not, I'm not great at these things. Uh, I like building boards that I can build multiple times so that if I F up, I can just do it again. But this monitor wasn't really usable or trustable anymore in the state it was, so that's why I'm trying this. Um, anyway, we, we've gotten down to the logic board and the, uh, the power plug is, uh, well, on this board. So next step is, uh, oh, this is the control interface for the menu system. It's plugged in there. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to try and remove this whole unit and then see if I can get to the plug or it's on this side. On the well on the bottom or the inside of this thing. Okay, I've uh, now almost fully disassembled this thing and this is the plug that's giving trouble but if you look at the solder joints here I'm starting to imagine why these solder joints don't look that great and there's even missing joints or uh, plated holes actually so I'm just going to try and uh, reflow uh, these pads and put some nice solder on them and then see if that fixes the problem. Okay, if you uh, look at it now I reflowed some extra solder on there, and although those pads are really close together, I don't believe they're actually touching. Um, so I'm going to uh, close it all up and see if that fixes the problem. If not, the socket itself might be broken, so I'm going to take some pictures of the controller board and of this uh, socket 
because so, maybe the socket itself needs to be replaced, but we're going to see. Okay, I've just put the monitor back together as I think it should go. It's pretty easy. So uh, I haven't tested it yet. I, 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 if it's not working when I put it back together, I'm re not really bothered today to do it again. So let's set it up and see if it works. Well, at least it didn't get worse. And I can now just, you know, wiggle it. Uh, well, it's not perfect, I guess. Well, okay, if I don't touch the power plug too much, actually pull it out, it works. It's a lot better than it was. Maybe it's not perfect yet, but I think as long as I leave that plug alone, this is going to work a hell of a lot better. So, uh, this was already an old monitor. It has scratches on it and stuff like that. Still, it's 2560 by 1440 at 100 hertz IPS, so I can certainly use it in my garage studio. And, uh, well, I was just kind of afraid the monitor would, like, fail during a live stream or something like that, because that's the computer I use this on. And, uh, well, this looks a lot better. So, thanks for uh, joining along, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.